Let's set up a glowing texture on these rocks so it looks like they're reacting to the heat from the lightning when they get struck. I've created a texture that we can use for our ground destruction. And if we go into Photoshop, you can see it's just each one of these pieces separated by color so that we can turn them on one by one using our blueprint. But first we have to make sure that they're operating correctly in Houdini and their UVs are okay. So I'm just going to put down a UV quick shade. And then I'm going to plug in my texture. And you can see it's not how we want it to be. So let's just go into UV texture. This is a quick way of doing it. Set angle to 90. Let's set the, maybe these would be a little bit bigger. I think just like that'll be fine. So now let's export this again and bring that back into Unreal and then we can set them up correctly. So let's set up that material. Let's go to the Distro M material and then let's put in the texture. Let's go here, let's put down a multiply. Drag that in. For this, we're going to need each one of these color channels separated. So let's put down three multiplies. Then let's put in a, let's plug in the red, green, and blue. Let's make a new parameter. Call it strike one or strike underscore one. Plug that into B, and as these are set to zero, they won't show up, and then when they're set to one, they will show up. Second one, ah, okay. Second one to strike two. Third one to strike three. Plug them in. And then we don't want these to show up as green, blue, and red. They won't, we want them to show up as black. So let's put in a, one minus to each of these. And then let's multiply them. So now let's test this just to make sure it's working out. Let's set the parameter default to be zero or one. And then if this is working correctly, it should show up on our ground. And it is. So now let's set up the emission. And now that I'm looking at this, I realize that the red is the third one and the green is the first one. So we just need to swap a few things. So go into strike one and let's set this to be Strike three, and then the second one is the green, so that'll be strike one. Then this is strike two. Okay, now let's set up the emission, which is almost a very similar setup, so I'll just copy and paste all of these. And now they're set up correctly, so now we can do red here, green here, blue here, and we need to change this to be strike three glow. Let's just copy that glow to all these. Oops. Okay. And now we need to add these together. So let's put down two add nodes. Just like that. Now let's put down a four vector. We'll set that to 50, 1, 0, 0. And then let's plug that into a multiply. And then we'll take that to the emissive. Now we need to make a few changes in our distro M. We don't want these all spawning at once. We want to be turning them on and off within our distro BP. So back in distro M, let's set all of the these parameters to zero to start out with. Okay, 
So now let's go into Distro BP, and you have your first uh, Niagara emitter going off, and we want to create some space between those two, which I've already done here, and we want to drag it down, our vertex animation textures, and we want to set scalar parameter value on materials, drag that into here, and then we want to set this to be our strike one. And let's set the parameter. Whoop. Now let's set our parameter value to be one. Let's just plug that in and let's just test that to make sure it's working. So just the first one should show up. Yep, that works. So let's go back into the Distro BP and now let's set up that glow. So let's drag, let's just copy in this. Actually, first, let's make a timeline. Add timeline. Go in here, let's click add float track, add key to curve, add key to curve. Let's set the first key to be at zero and a value of two, and this will be the value of our glow. And let's set the second va the second key to be at 1.5 and let's set it to zero. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a new key. Let's set it at 0.5, let's set it to be 0.1. Let's take the first key, set it to auto, just like that. And let's make one more key at 0.8, and let's set that to be 0 0.005. So it's pretty bright, and then it goes to a very, very low, just barely red color, and then it fades out slowly, is what I'm looking for. So the overall length to be two, the top here, or 1.5, I guess. Okay. Let's go back into the event graph, and we need to now set another one of these set scalar parameters. Set the update into here, and then we're going to set the new track zero into parameter, and then this is going to set the glow. So change the parameter name to glow. Now this should be working. Test that. And it works. So now we have the strike one getting turned on right after the emit the system is being spawned. And then right after that, there's a timeline for 1.5 seconds, which determines the parameter of the strength of the glow. So now we can actually use this exact same thing on all of these. So let's create space after every single activate. Like that. Boom, okay. Now let's come here. And we want these three for each one. And the only thing that we're going to be changing is the parameter value name. How did I lose that? Copy this. Update. All right. Create a bit more space here. Plug that in. Plug that in here. So after each emitter is spawned, we're changing these parameters for our glow and for the texture on the ground. So instead of strike one, let's set this to strike two. So instead of glow one, set it to glow two. I feel like this is pretty self-explanatory, but just take a second to update everything. Let's go to the third one. So after that, activate. Set it to be our strike three. Strike three. All right, let's test that out. And if everything's working okay, should be something is up. Let's go back in here, see what the deal is. After this, we set our glow one. That's correct. Then we come in here, activate the second one. And our target is this, and it's set to strike two. The only thing that wasn't, ah, we forgot to plug in this right here. And I bet I did the same here. Yes, just gotta plug in the new track into this to set the parameter value from two to zero. All right. All right, that's working. Now what we're gonna do is I wanna change these grains a bit because they're a little bit too bright. So I'm gonna make them a bit darker. 
So let's go into Strike, and let's go to Dynamic Material Parameters, and I want to change this mission to be 0.2. And I also want to change this time to when this finishes its animation. I want to set this to be 0.2 as well. I want this to finish really, really quickly. I'm also going to set, I'm going to go back to Grains Front, and I'm going to change the size of them just a little bit. I'm going to change the Y to be 600 and the X to be 300. I just want to be able to see that every time it happens. That's better. Okay. So now let's go to the initialized particles. And right now we have the lifetime set to 10. Let's set the lifetime, or sorry, five. Let's set the lifetime to like 15. And obviously that's affecting our time parameter here in dynamic material parameters. Let's set that to 0 0.01. Point one. Yeah. That's about right. Let's also change here. Let's change the emission to point two as well, just so these are the same color. Let's go back in. Let's watch this. That's about right. Watch it one more time. There could be a little bit more variation on the lightning that's come out of the hilt of his sword. So let's go back into lightning charge, hilt charge, and then under this contrast, let's set this to 0.23. If we watch that, be a little bit more interesting variation on that lightning. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my distro BP and you don't have to do this part, but I think my pieces are a bit big. So I'm going to set them to 0.5 and then we have to move it up a little bit to compensate. Negative 11. And since we're changing this, we do have to change our strike. And the only thing we have to change in this is our initialized particle size from 600. We're going to set that to be 400 instead. And you don't have to do this part. It's only if you think the pieces are gonna. Or it's only if you think the pieces are a little big. And I think mine are. So we spawn that, and obviously this is way too far out. So let's go into the night and fix that. So let's take this sphere and let's set this to 500, just like that. Now let's play it back. <laughs> 